the Lester Hendershot story. It was also curious that Hendershot became paralyzed from a 2,000 volt bolt of electricity from a machine he had been working on and grown familiar with for several years. If this machine could develop 2,000 volts, it would seem to validate his claims rather than prove any fraud. After the supposed accident, Hendershot was paralyzed in arms and legs and pallet, so he could not talk to no one. In Wild Talents, Charles Ford postulated, What I picked up is that there must have been an alarm that was no ordinary alarm somewhere. F.D. Fleming in a 1950 Fate magazine article suggested that Hendershot was bought off and his invention relegated to oblivion by big business which had much at stake in coal and oil technology. What a greedy idea. Please click the link below for more of Lester Hendershot's story.